Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how we can deploy an Ubuntu server on Valtra and then we're going to log into that server using the root user with an SSH key. The first thing, let's go to our computer so that we can generate an SSH key and then add it on Valtra. And when we are deploying our server, we're going to choose our SSH key from there. So first of all, I need to generate an SSH key. I don't want to use this. So I'll just go here under SSH key, manage, so log into Valtra, create your account, and then once you create your account, you come under accounts, down here under account, you'll see SSH key. So I will delete this key. So whether you're on Linux, Mac, Windows, you will be able to follow along with me. If you're on Windows, go ahead and download Git Bash. Look for Git. Click on Downloads and then download it for Windows and install it. And once you install it, come down here and open Git Bash. So if I go to start, I can look for Git Bash. And we're going to use this to generate our SSH key. And then we're going to upload our key into Valtra. You'll see how to do that in a moment. You can use this post to help you generate your keys. I have an Ubuntu 22.04 initial server setup. So I'm just going to go to bizanosa.com slash Ubuntu 22. Slash Ubuntu 22 is going to redirect you to this post. And then somewhere down here on this post, you're going to see SSH key login setup. Click on that. And I just want us to generate our keys. That's all we need from here. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to explain it. I'll paste it in here in Notepad. So as a search key gen, this will generate our key. And then the type of key we want to generate, we want to generate is RSA with 1496 bits. So this specifies the bits that you want to generate. And then F, this will be the file name where we'll store our file. I want to store it inside of .ssh. And I'm going to create a new folder. Let me call it Valtra. We're going to create a folder inside of this SSH folder called Valtra. If you install Gitbash, it's going to come with the .ssh on Windows. On Linux, it's usually there. If it is not, you can just create it. Valtra, and then we want to call this Valtra Ubuntu key. So we're going to create this folder. Okay, so let me just copy this because I want to make this directory. I want to create this directory. Copy. This directory doesn't exist. If we go inside of my home directory and I go inside of the .ssh, you'll see that this folder that I want to use, the Valtra and the Ubuntu one doesn't exist. So I'm going to create them. So I'll copy and then let me just come back into Gitbash and I will do make dir, make directory and I want to use dash p. This will ensure that any directory that is not already existing, if it is within this directory and it doesn't exist yet, it will create them. Okay, so this is like creating the directory that doesn't exist, even if it is inside of another directory. So that is what dash p helps with. And this, this signifies my home directory. So I don't have to add the path to my home directory when I have that. So once I create that folder, if we come back here, whether you're on Linux or Mac, you're going to find the folder is now inside of the .ssh, .ssh directory. Now the next step is to generate our keys. So our key is going to be called that. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to copy. And I will bring it here to generate the key. So you can enter a passphrase and I do suggest that you enter a passphrase for your key. All right, so our keys have been generated. Now the next thing is for us to go back into this folder. If you come here under the folder, you'll see that we have our .pub key. This is a public key and this is the one that we need to add onto Valtra. Okay, so I can just open it up with Visual Studio Code. And you can see that the content is in one line. I'm just going to copy the content and this is what I'm going to add onto Valtra. So if I come back to my Valtra 
here under as I search as, as I said once you create your account come here under accounts and then you're going to see SSH keys and then you can click add SSH key so the key we're going to add we'll just paste the key in there paste everything in there and then we're going to give it a name let's call this default and then I'll add SSH key let us deploy our Ubuntu so I'll go back into products and then I will deploy a server. We want to deploy a cloud compute server. And we want it to be AMD high performance server. So you can choose whichever one you want here. But AMD high performance or Intel or high frequency is okay. And then I want it to be in America and I want to go to Seattle. And I will choose Ubuntu 2204. I'll choose the 2GB RAM server because I want it to be kind of responsive when I'm working on it. And enable auto backups. You can see the price is now 14 and that's because auto backups is enabled. You can disable that if you don't need that. But if your system is crucial, enable that. And then IPv6, yes, enable IPv6. And then you can also enable virtual private clouds, especially if you want to work with Kubernetes, you can enable private clouds. And then SSH key, we're going to choose the default key that we added. And then the firewall group. We don't have a firewall group, so we're just going to ignore this. But you can create a firewall group and attach it to your server. Server host name, panel dot. I can use that, panel dot And this is going to be my server host name. And I can just confirm that everything is as I want it. Ubuntu, I choose Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version. Anything else that I need to change, that's it. And then I will deploy now. And just give it time to deploy. And then once it has deployed, we're going to see how we can log in using Git Bash and our SSH key. So just remember that you can find everything you need on this post. So if you want to log in, you're going to use SSH. And then the user, which is root, and then the IP of your server, and then the identity of your key. And the identity of your key, that is where you saved the key. So remember where that was. And just remember, as I said, if you come here, you'll see that the link for my key is this. So I'll copy. And if I come here, and I put it here, you'll see that all this the link to my home directory can be replaced by a tilde. Just like that. So that's the link for your key, for your private key. So let's go back and see if our server is ready. And there it is, it's ready. So we're just going to click on it. So let's see how we can log into our server. And I just want to write everything here. So to log into my server, I will need SSH root at the IP address and then the identity of my key. That's how we're going to log into our server. Copy. I'll do control L. Paste. Enter. So the server is probably still starting. Let us just restart it. So after it restarts, let's see if you're able to log in. So I'll just do that again. Everything is okay, my IP. All right, we need to add the server to our local computer and I'm just going to type yes to accept it. So enter the passphrase for your key. And if you deployed your key, if you generated your key with the passphrase, enter it here. Okay, so we are now logged into our server as root. And the first thing you can do is you can update your Ubuntu server. So since I'm root, I don't need to use sudo. So I'm just going to do apt update. So that's going to check the updates and upgrade is going to upgrade any updates that are available. And dash Y is going to ensure that it doesn't ask me for any confirmation. All packages are up to date, but I can see something here. 
let me just run this what is this issue about i'm just going to run this okay so once this is done I'll do control L, clear the screen, let's see if that error is gone. Okay, there we go. Now the next step, if you want to do anything on your server, you can always do it. And you can come here and look at everything that you can do to set up your Ubuntu 22.04 setup. So come in here and do all this to make sure that your server is ready for production. We're going to do different things in this post. You'll, you'll change the SSH port, you'll set up firewall, disable root login, and so much more. Things that are just beneficial for a server that is being used in production. So in this video, you've seen how you can deploy Ubuntu and log in with your SSH key. So if you do have any question about this, just feel free to ask me in the comments below.